today we're in uh, Northumberland, near uh, Hexham. <coughs> we're at a church called St. John's Lee, or St. John of Beverley. This is a difficult church to actually find. It's the easiest way is to go up the A69 on the Hexham roundabout, then take the, the junction off uh, St. John's Lee, but beware, it's a single track road with no passing places. So you might sometimes have to get stuck and get reversed. Reverse out to get back in again if there's cars going the other way. The church has done this spot since uh, the 7th century. Uh, when, as B tells us, St. John of Beverly, while still among the Hexham Abbey, came here through the prayer. Present building dates from 1843 and is basically the work of John Dobson Newcastle, who was extended and much more beautified by W.S. Hicks in 1886. So it would be the wooden ceiling and chancel screen. The thing was that uh, it was not the story, but it was taken down, but the roof still remains high up. <coughs> As you go into the baptistry here, <coughs> there's some uh, medieval uh, relics, which we'll see shortly. But if we go into the main church now, uh, it's quite pretty. Organ on the right hand side, uh, big stained glass windows. These stained glass windows were brought around the 1940s, were reinstalled or remade. A little stained on the left hand side there. On the other side, we see a number of windows uh, showing uh, kings of Northumbria, Edwin, Oswald, and Oswald. And on the other side, we have three windows where the principal saints of Northumbria, the three apostles, and uh, the seventh century Northumbria monks, uh, Bede, Sir John, and uh, Benedict Biscop. And interesting in here, we have a stone monument to uh, Thomas J. Catherine commemorating the last meal of Mule Lane, Lane, who died in the First World War. Unfortunately, sadly, in a place where it's difficult to see. And down here is a uh, floor dedicated to one of the previous vicars from the 1930s, John Faulkner. Here I have a piscina, which hmm, doesn't work now, unfortunately. So the number of dedications to uh, the previous vicars in this area. There's an interesting book on it, on, on the, the uh, church itself, by Sheila Smith, which is available in church for a reasonable five pounds. I just beside the door, you, there is the uh, medieval cup ring, which you see just there, to the right of the uh, back, the font. There it is there. Uh, very old ancient uh, cup ring. And a Roman altar, which maybe had been used as uh, a bat, a bat street before it was a bit of a sundial. <laughs> Anyway, hope you liked, enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, subscribe, and uh, bye with me. <laughs> See you shortly. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.